2018 Jeep Cherokee water pump replacement. This is part one. First, what you want to do is drain your radiator under the uh, gravel guard. You should be able to get to this. This is a radiator drain. I would drain this if you can. It'll just help less coolant come out after we, um, you know, take the water pump off. You don't have to do this, but you're going to have a bunch of coolant coming out when you take the water pump off the engine. Try to have something down to catch it all. Um, it gets pretty messy. Even when I drain this, I still had a lot of coolant in the engine. Um, tensioner is right here. We're going to go ahead and take the ratchet and uh, pull back like this to loosen the belt. And then this will uh, allow you to take the belt off. Um, we'll just do it like this. And this is after I remove the bottom um, skid, skid guards, those little metal uh, shields underneath the engine. So I'm going from underneath. Um, so I'm going to get this off of here. Okay, so we got that off. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside for now. Here's the uh, pulley uh, map. I just wrote it down. So once you have that off, honestly, the hardest part of this job was getting these hoses off. They were super stubborn, and um, I, was, I didn't want to have to replace them, so I had to make sure I didn't rip the hoses. Take these clamps, squeeze them, and pull them back. Once the clamps are back, uh, pretty far back, you can remove the hose from its mounting spot. Um, like I said, if you get if you get past this part, you'll be fine the rest of the way. The hose right that goes right there, and then the hose that goes on the bottom, the lower hose. Um, so once those are off, we'll go ahead and move up here. Um, this is the water pump. Uh, there's like 10 or 12 10 millimeter bolts down here, and then there's a few of them that are like 18 millimeters on top, and like a 113 millimeter for the idle pulley. So I got my 10 millimeter here, and uh, also you could use a Torx bit. It's a T30. The ones on my engine have a torque spot in the middle of the bolt head. So if you have only a torque set, you could get these off too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of play this kind of quick. I'm not going to force you to watch me go super slow and take a bunch of bolts off. So I sped this up. But um, go ahead and get these out. And what I did is I had my new pump and I had it laid out like this. And I put the bolt into the new pump because uh, these bolts... A few of them are different lengths, so I didn't want to get my lengths mixed up. So what I do is I just have my new pump laying out, and then I'll, whenever I take it off of this old pump, I'll just put it on the new pump in that hole. The bolts had a little black, uh, it's like a black gasket type of thing on it too. So if you could save those, try to save it. I don't know what their exact function is. I thought it might be like a guide, but I just saved it for, for anyway. So I got that, all the 10 millimeter bolts off. Now this uh, idler pulley has to come off. It's a 13 millimeter. And then we're going to get these 18 millimeter bolts up the top here. I believe those are 18. So let's go ahead and get this idler pulley off. Like I said, it's just a uh, 13. And uh, it just comes off. It's not like reverse mount or nothing like that. Or reverse thread. So go ahead and get this off here. And then uh, you can kind of, this little vacuum pump might get in your way a little bit. I'm just going to take this off. We're going to remove the vacuum pump soon to get to those uh, top bolts. But yeah, just set this to the side. Now these bolts, this metal pipe is in the way. Uh, the metal pipe, I believe, is for the AC. So what we're going to do is have to get this metal pipe out the way um, to get to those ones. I thought I could just take this bracket bolt off, but it, it got to take the whole thing off up here. So go ahead and take the air intake off, um, basically. You just loosen the clamps on each side right here and here and then you gotta disconnect the math sensor which is right here math sensor you just push the little red lock backwards with a uh a flathead or something or whatever and then you can push the button down to to remove it and then these we're just going to get these loosened up and then we will remove this intake and once you get this off, it kind of you can see a lot more stuff what's going on here. You got to kind of wiggle it off. It could be kind of stubborn. Don't break nothing. All right, so now we got to take this. I thought if you take that 10 millimeter uh, bolt out right here, then the bracket would be enough slack to move that pipe out the way. But it's still like there's still plenty in the way. So this whole vacuum pump um, bracket comes off, and uh, a couple hoses here. So I'm going to remove this hose and then this vacuum. You could just push down on the green buttons on the top and bottom and pull that backwards uh, very gently. This is the same like the lower coolant hoses. We're just going to move the clamps backwards, 
uh, off the uh, lip and then you can remove that and then pull these little uh, guides out. They can be stubborn as well. Uh, we have to disconnect this connector. This is to the vacuum pump. This vacuum pump, it shouldn't be under any pressure or nothing. At least mine wasn't. Uh, this is just a regular connector. You just push down with your thumb on this and pull it backwards. You gotta take these uh, bracket bolts out. It's a, it's a 16 or an 18. Let's go ahead and get these off here and then pull these out. These are the same size, so you could just remove them. Go ahead and I had to use an extension to get to that one. And then uh, I'll remove this. This whole bracket can come out. You kind of got to like guide it out and it gets caught on stuff. So just guide it out gently and put this uh, somewhere safe so it doesn't get stepped on or nothing. Now we have plenty of room to get to those bolts. And uh, go ahead and get in there with my 16 millimeter. I believe I said it was an 18 earlier in the video, but it, it looks like it's a 16. So um, go ahead and just get these loosened up here. And then uh, same thing with these. I just put them in the old, I mean, put them in the new water pump so you know where they go because they are different lengths, I believe. And uh, oh, so the center one is a 16. The ones on the side is a 13 millimeter. Go ahead and get these out. All right, got that one. Now, uh, as you can see, this is what I was talking about. I've been just kind of putting them in here so I can map all my bolts so I don't put like a long one where it's supposed to be short or vice versa. You don't have to do that. I mean, if you feel confident, you know where they go, then it's fine. I, I get interrupted quite a bit at my job, so you know I don't have the memory to put them in. All right, there we go. So, uh, I just kind of grabbed the bottom of this where the lower hose connects and I pulled it off the engine. Uh, be careful not to gouge the engine. I just kind of pulled it to get it loose. A ton of coolant came out. Um, I kind of felt like draining the radiator might have not been necessary, but uh, that's what the instructions said to do, so I did. But anyways, I take this out. Um, once you uh, get this out, you could kind of take a look at the engine there. Here's where my old pump was leaking out of the weep hole. Uh, it was just coming out pretty good. And uh, so we're gonna pause it here and then I'm gonna make part two to this video. Part two is gonna be how to install it and how to do all that. So uh, find that video if you still need a, more, more instructions. Thanks for watching.